about how much of sport is about natural ability and how much is about using technology to enhance performance. Well, many would argue that sport at an elite level has now become a battle of technological advancements. Recently, the German football team has been working with technology company SAP to push players to the limits of their potential. Well, with me to discuss this now is uh, Kurt Belefer from SAP. He's a new uh, technology expert. Welcome to the programme. Now, we know that Germany's just drawn 2-2 with Ghana. Ghana didn't have access to your technology. So how is your technology helping the German team? Well, I think, you know, the German team is using it to really balance out their portfolio players and help them prepare for the match and then obviously evaluate their performance. So, so for them, it's all about utilizing the players and making sure they're, they're making the most of these assets. But we know that sport's always been about the natural ability of athletes. So how much of this is nature versus nurture? I mean, what, what is your company doing specifically utilizing big data to help these players? Sure. Well, so, so, so basically what Germany's done and other teams are following is place cameras all around the field. And so they can track player performance. So how long do they have the ball? Do they prefer their left or right foot? Who do they pass to? And all the additional statistics. So each player in each match generates about 4 million data signals that they can now capture and analyze to determine how do they perform against different defensive positions and those sort of things. I think there's still obviously a huge natural ability. That's how you play at these top levels. But we're helping the, the athletes tune their performance. And I think every athlete is looking for that edge. Right. Um, so I think this is where you're seeing technology across all of sports go, not just, not just soccer or football. Indeed, you say across all of sports. So how could this technology be utilized in other sports? Can you give examples of that as well? Because it's relatively new technology. It's only really been in existence for about a year. That's right. So, so we've already partnered with the WTA. So we now capture every serve and not just the velocity or how fast it's going, its placement, how close to the line, whether or not it was returned um, for the Calcutta Knight Riders. We actually help them with their bidding system. So how do they identify the right cricket players to bid on? We do the same thing with a series of American sports. So whether it's American football, we help with drafting. Uh, and NBA, the National Basketball Association, right. actually uses us as well to show where every shot was taken from the floor for every single player and whether or not the shot went in. And very quickly now, this all sounds like extremely expensive technology. So really, is it a case of the sports team with the most money to spend on technology and other things like this will win? Well, I think what you're seeing is the sports has moved from an entertainment business to a traditional business. So they're in it for not just making sure that they win games and enticing their fans, but how's that overall performance and where the business is heading. So it isn't about the cost, it's really about the value of these solutions and how is it differentiating them. And we're seeing this right now play out in the World Cup, but you're going to see this across all of the sports. All right, we'll leave it there. Kept below for there from SAP. Thank you very much. Now, 